some very close pictures. It, it's kind of fun. Well, that first match was well done and quickly decided. So we move on now to the women's team gold medal match. Should be an excellent one right now between Japan and Korea. And here comes the team, I believe, from Japan. First out of the tunnel, Japan seated third after the ranking rounds. And they deserve that seed after a 6-2 victory over Italy, then a 6-2 win over Germany. And they swept Chinese Taipei 6-0 in the semifinals. So it's been a very, very good week so far for the women from Japan. An excellent trio. Led by Kawanaka Kaori, Ayashi Yuki, and Nagamina Saori. And they've got a couple of Olympians on this team, and so they'll be formidable for the team from Korea. Korea, the number one seed coming out of the ranking rounds. Korea also with a very impressive week. Got things going with a 6-2 win over Great Britain in the 1-8th round. Then defeated Russia 6-2 in the quarterfinals and then won a tiebreaker with China in the semis. And having just seen the Chinese team, that must have been a heck of a match between Korea and China. Yeah, it, it was a very strong match, but I, I was um, more impressed by Japan. Japan left no chance at all for Chinese Taipei. There's Keng Che Young on the left, Choi Mi Soon in the middle, and of course, the incomparable Kibo Bay on the right. What a lineup for Korea. Kang, Choi, and Ki shooting for Korea and going for the gold. Now in Shanghai three weeks ago, Korea blanked Germany six to nothing. These same three shooters, Kibo Bay, Choi Mi Soon, and Keng Che Young picking up the gold medal in China. And they're trying to make it back to back here in Antalya. Yes, and I'm really looking forward to this match, Carl. We have Korea. We don't have to say much more than that. It's just powerhouse and It speaks for itself. Yes, it does. They, they have won every single Olympic team medal since 1988. And Japan was shooting really strong in the team's eliminations. Like, they, they shot formidable against Chinese Taipei. And they had their revenge uh, against um, Germany in the quarterfinals. And I'm really looking forward to see how, how it's going to turn out. So here we go. First shot of the match, and it will be Korea on target number one, shooting first, Keng Che Young with an eight to start it off. Three-time gold medalist in Shanghai three weeks ago. What a debut it was for her. And here is the Olympic champion from 2012, Kibo Bay, starting off with a 10. <laughs> Choi Mi Soon, 18 years old, making only her third international appearance. Close to that nine line, but it looks like it's just out. Yes, I think it's an eight. A bit unfortunate, but is it still the beginning of the match? So now Japan. Solid shot for Japan. Kawanaka. Kaori, the 23-year-old who picked up a team silver medal in Antalya back in 2013 and a team bronze Olympic medal in 2012. Right in the middle of the target. Hayashi. Hayashi Yuki, 30 years of age. She won a team silver here in Turkey in 2013. Now here's Nagamina Saori, 21 years old, and the youngest member of this team, and she gives her team a two-point lead over Korea, possibly a one-point lead. Yes, uh, Nagamine Saori is kind of the rookie of the Japanese team. Uh, both Hayashi and Kamanaka were at the Asian Games last year, but Nagamine was not. But she's been doing fine so far. Ms. Kang wow. comes through. The eighth was probably her side. <laughs> Obviously made an adjustment. Yes. Kibo Bay. A surprising shot. It happens to the best of them, though. It happens. Eights happen, yes. 
She heard some feedback from the coach. Should be fine from now on. And join me soon with a surprising eight. Probably they're struggling, uh, struggling a little bit with the wind, with compensating the wind and everything. So it's really important for them to talk now to see like where they aimed, how they compensated and everything. And as close as the practice range is to the actual field of play, there is a difference. There is, yes. But it does not seem to be affecting Japan at all. Kawa Nakakaori. And Japan seems to be more relaxed as well. They're like smiling more and everything. Yeah, they're enjoying the moment. Hayashi Yuki holding for a long time and still salvages a nine. Kind of a lucky arrow. She looked like she was really pressing as she was at full draw. Yeah, she seemed very tense. And now Nagamina Saori. So they paint those yellow rings. Yes, yeah, so all golden and all golden set for Japan. And they're laughing and everything. They're they're really having a good time. Which is actually how you're supposed to <laughs> approach this, aren't you? <laughs> yes, of course. The more relaxed you are, the better you do. Getting nervous doesn't help at all. No. They're loose, they're relaxed, they're having fun, they're having a good time right now, and they're enjoying the challenge. Of course, never count Korea out. Never. Of course, yes. Korea can, can always shoot a 60 or a 59 effortlessly. So you should never think that you've won already. What is it, as you've watched in all the years you've been shooting, and you've been shooting for over a decade now, but you've been around the Koreans an awful lot. What impresses you most about them? Is it their mental approach, their mindset? It is, it is hard to say what exactly impresses the most, um, but their amount of training makes the shot become so automatic. It makes it so natural that uh, even at the, um, the toughest situations, they can repeat it um, without a big effort. Like, mm -hmm. they, they just seem to do it really easily. So uh, this is really impressive about them, how, how easy they can shoot sometimes. They have been here before, and that's a lot to do with, that adds to the confidence, having been there before, being in these situations. Of course, they bring so many newcomers along. Here's Kang Che Young. And she had three gold medals in Shanghai three weeks ago. This will be her only appearance today. That tells you the strength and the depth of the team overall. Yes. Um, uh, Kate, um, Kang Tae Young and Choi Mi Sun, they're both rookies at the, at the team, but that means nothing because they're, they're Koreans. If they're at the team, it means they shoot really strong and they can shoot really well in any situation. If they're here, they deserve to be here and they belong here. Of course, yes. So they, they are comfortable anywhere. Better shooting by Korea to start off this second set. Korea trailing two to nothing after the first set. Trying to come back and tie it up. And a 10 to go along with those two nines is an excellent start in this second set. Yes, it was. Probably the, the coach just told them some tips about the wind and just a little bit of technique. And I think they're coming strong now. So Japan. Let's see if they're up to the challenge. And apparently they are. Good shot by Kawanaka Kaori. Now Hayashi Yuki. Trying to hold it in. <laughs> Held it together. Yes, it is the second shot she holds uh, a little longer than normal because Asians are quite known for shooting very fast. Now the 21-year-old Nagamina Saori with a 10. So we're even at 28 here in the second set, midway through. Yeah, Japan is not leaving it easy for Korea. There you could see in that shot before this, a little bit of the distraction for these archers. You've got the camera on the crane floating around out there, and you've got to focus as she does right there. Kang Che Young focusing on that 10 ring and hitting it with all these things moving around you, all the sights, the sounds, and all those things that could take your eye off the target. Yeah, see, you really got to be focused and the most important thing is just focus on your form. If you focus on your form, forget about points, forget about everything else. That, that's the way you're going to hit the gold. 
You can see, by the way, the Kibo Bay threw her bow right after she released that shot. She was trying to get that back into the yellow rings. And Didn't work. She probably drifted a little bit with the wind. And, eight. and now they drift to the other side. And so Korea very vulnerable right now. Yes, Korea is having a pretty hard time now. Let's see what Japan does. Japan needing 27 points out of the three archers. They get nine right there, two more nines, and they've got this they set. They haven't missed the yellow so far. Be interesting to see what Hayashi Yuki does right here. She's been, no, she releases it much quicker, and it's a better shot. Yes. I was going to say she'd been holding it longer. She must have been listening to you, Bernardo. Yeah, pro probably she, she has earphones listening to our <laughs> transmission. You're on the same wavelength. <laughs> Big shot right here. What a group. Great grouping by Japan. And high fives all around for the Japanese team that takes the set, picks up two more points, and they're in the driver's seat right now. Yeah, and surprisingly, Nagamini seemed very nervous after this shot. She was kind of breathing hard and everything. And she was the, excited. Yes, the, uh, the other, her teammates cheered her up. And <laughs> but it, it's nice to see that uh, both teams, they are they're doing something interesting that uh, I think mo most teams, they, they try doing in, in team matches, which is the, um, the high five you see after each shot. Uh, that uh, usually we do this um, after a strong shot. It's kind of, yeah, very good, like, thanks, well done, and, like, let's keep it up. But even after a weak shot, like, we do this as a way to cheer up, like, hey, mm -hmm. it's okay, let's, you know, let's try again and everything. So um, it, help, it helps keep the team together. Sure. Like, to have this unity as a team. Well, it boosts the morale, and right now the morale is sky high for Team Japan as they're... Up by four points right now, four to nothing. But again, nothing is guaranteed yeah. in this sport. Yeah, yeah, but uh, Japan has a really big advantage, which is if everything goes wrong from th for them from now on, they will still get go to the shoot-off against Korea. So all Korea has, all Korea can do is just win, win, and like shoot as many cents as possible. They have to take it one shot at a time. They have to take it one set at a time and try to get themselves back into the match. They can if they pick up this set. That would cut the lead down to four to two. Yeah, and no mission is impossible for Team Korea. Wow. Korea starting off with a nine. By Kang Chae Young, the 18-year-old who won those three gold medals at Stage One in Shanghai, which, by the way, was her first World Cup event. Quite a coming-out party for her. Ki Bo Bei now, who nine. did not shoot at all last year, back on the national team and shooting a nine with that shot. Now Choi Mi Soon, who picked up a team gold medal and an individual silver medal in Shanghai. So a strong opening for Korea. And there's one thing, girl. Uh, I think the Korean team is the world championships team, th this one, because their highest CD archer, seeded archer uh, is not in the team. Excellent start for Japan. Japan does not want to see this go beyond this third set. They'd like to close it out in straight sets. What a message that would send as we head towards the World Championships in July in Copenhagen. They're sending a message, yeah. all right. They are, they are. Uh, are we going to see Japan not miss the yellow at all in this match? They have been remarkably consistent thus far. Let's see what Nagamina Saori can do. The Koreans anxiously watching on, and they're still in the gold rings. So they take a one-point lead midway through what could be the final set. Oh, yes. First of five points wins the match. Korea knows that. They're fighting back. Strong shot by Kung Che Young. Now Kibo Bay, the veteran. Number one in the world back in August of 2013, a year in which she won a bronze medal here wow. at stage two in Antalya, Turkey. 
Even Kibo Bay is a little bit shaky, but she just shot a 10, and that's exactly what they need right now. They've got something going right now after two nines to start the set. It's been three straight tens. Choi Mi Soon would like to make it four in a row, and she does. And she does. We're talking about Korea. So all we can expect from now on is really strong shooting. So Things now well. a little bit of pressure right now in Japan. First time really in this match. Yes, yes. Now, now Korea is in the game. Two more tens and it's over. But Japan is not giving it, giving it up so easily. Another ten. A 10 will win it, a 9 will tie it, but it would give them the one point that they need to wrap up this match. Yeah, it's very impressive. Japan is shooting really well. Let's, let's see what Nagamini does. Ooh, that left arm's a little bit wobbly. Trying to hold it together, holding it a long time. Nagamina Saori, oh, it's an 8! Oh. It's an 8! And we will play on. They just missed it. Oh, she was obviously too nervous. She held it for too long. Her you can see it going through her mind, yeah. Yeah, she was thinking too much about the gold medal. And it was right there for the taking. Now the door is open for Korea. Yes, and how many times have we seen Korea do this? A, a lot of times. And, and um, Japan just gave Korea another chance, and that's definitely what you, you, you should not do. If you give Korea another chance, you can bet that they're going to use it. So what they got to do is keep on shooting really strong. They were facing elimination. Yeah, and the men's team already warming up for, the, for their gold medal match. And looking on anxiously right now as Korea has new life, barely has new life. Had it been a nine, then the match is over. Raised from the ashes. So we play on. On to the fourth set right now. Japan still leading it 4-2. But Korea knows now they can come back, win this set, and they're all even. Yes, and they shot four consecutive tens. So for sure they are like very excited and they are on their way. And now they planted a little bit of doubt in the mind of the Japanese archers, just a little bit. Yeah, yes. And they've built their own confidence up. That's a nine. For Kong Che Young. Kibo Bay. What a year she had in 2012. No. Comes up with a nine right there. Back in 2012, participated in two stages, five events had gold medals in three of those five events, and picked up a total of 15 World Cup medals in a three-year span. That's the kind of experience Kibo Bay has. Choi wow. Misun. Nine, nine, nine. Not exactly what they what they expected or what they should be doing, but solid, but not spectacular. Not, yeah, yeah, not there. Again, Japan only needs to split this set to claim the match and the gold medal, and X marks the spot for Kawanaka Kaori. If this was the Olympics, that would be really close to the camera. <laughs> Might have smashed that lens. She'll try to do that in Rio. She'll have a better chance. Hayashi Yuki with a nine. They need to keep it in the yellow, and Nagamina Saori has to forget about the eight she shot on the final shot of that last set. Comes back strong. That shows some mental strength and fortitude. Yes, uh, I think Nagamini, all she has to think is just shoot quickly. She just has to focus on her form and just do what she knows to do. Japanese team does not seem to be rattled at all. Kong Che Young with a nine, or excuse me, a 10.
without getting into it here on Konealti Beach. Great battle going on between Korea and Japan in the women's gold medal match. The team gold medal match. And you could see, see her arm was shaking as well. Yes, that, that eight is, is not helping at all. So an uncharacteristic eight from Kibo Bay. Which means Choi Mi Soon needs a 10 all the more and comes up with it. I think now they've we, scored it a nine. Yes, and I think it's not difficult for Japan right now. They, they just have to do their basic shoot and, and that's it. And the goal will be as good as theirs. Kawanaka Kaori. Okay, okay. Solid shot. Yuki, Yuki, Japan in good shape right now. Leading four to two on set points. Two more strong shots and the gold is theirs. Ayashi Yuki, 30 years old. Low on the shot. Not a good release from her. She held it for too long and released with some ten tension in her hands. So that puts more pressure on Nagamina Soyoi. But it's quite comfortable. An eight will win the match. Got it. And that's it. Her smile tells it all. If you look in the dictionary and look up the word joy and happiness, you'll see a picture like that. <laughs> there is some happiness right there as Japan, Japan pulls off a little bit of an upset. I think you'd have to consider it. Yes, yes. Korea did not show their typical shooting. They, they didn't shoot as strong as they usually do. Uh, but they, they got a lot of pressure from Japan since the beginning of the match. And Japan can definitely um, feel comfortable and feel confident for the World Championships. For the London Olympics, they qualified on the, on the last opportunity for, for the team's qualification.